Hey, this is Evan from Digit. I've taken an in-depth look at the new Apple TV 4K. I'm gonna tell you what I learned, and hopefully you'll learn if it's the right fit for your smart home. I just wanna jump in here real quick and explain that the Apple TV isn't actually this TV behind me, it's this black box which was streaming that video that I just paused. Now, you probably already knew that, but I'm confident if you keep watching, you're gonna learn something you didn't already know. The Apple TV 4K is brand new, but set-top boxes like it have been around since about 2008. So even if you've never had an Apple TV before, you're probably familiar with what it can do. What makes this generation different though is that extremely high-resolution video that it can stream. The 4K in the Apple TV name stands for the size of the picture that it can create now. The old standard, 1080p, used to be known as HD. Now we've got Ultra HD. This is twice as wide and twice as tall, and you can see how much bigger that picture is. It's actually four times as big. The 4K, though, actually comes from the number of vertical lines used to make up that image. Something new the Apple TV 4K has is the ability to stream TV shows and movies in HDR. Now, I know it sounds similar to HD, but HDR is something different. HD refers to the size of the picture, HDR refers to the quality of the color and the detail in that image. So with 4K on the Apple TV, with HDR, you're gonna see not just a bigger picture, but a better picture with brighter colors and more detail. If you're curious about HDR and wanna know more, we have an article on digit.com for you to check out. So iTunes has begun pumping out new movies in 4K HDR on iTunes for you to stream with the Apple TV 4K. And they're even updating some old films like The Born Identity and Spider-Man. And if you happen to have bought those movies a while ago, iTunes will automatically upgrade you to the 4K version for free. If you end up buying one of these movies, it actually comes with some bonus features too, which is cool. It feels like the old physical disc copy. You can do the director's commentary and watch deleted scenes. What doesn't feel like an old DVD copy though is the fact that you can't play it without internet. If you don't have an internet connection, you're totally out of luck. And if your stream is bad, you're not even gonna get that 4K quality. Netflix does have some 4K HDR content as well. It's a little limited. It's mostly their Marvel shows like Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. And you'll also have to upgrade to the top tier paid plan if you want to stream in 4K HDR. I'd like to tell you that there was some free way for you to stream 4K HDR content on your Apple TV, but if you try to stream a 4K video from YouTube, it'll actually play back in 1080p on your Apple TV and that'll stretch out to 4K, which ends up looking kind of ugly. Like most of the other set-top boxes on the market today, the Apple TV 4K allows you to search with your voice. Apple TV has a universal search, meaning it searches all these third-party apps to find the show or movie that you're looking for. The voice search also has nice context built in, meaning if you say, who is that, and you're watching a film, it will show you the actors list. If you say, what did they say? It's going to rewind and put on subtitles so you can hear it again. Really cool. One little thing I love about the Apple TV is that you can use your voice to spell out your passwords. Now, anybody who's used one of these before knows how annoying it can be when you're clicking through the keyboard one thing at a time. It's really nice just to be able to speak and spell and move right through that. So the Apple TV comes with this nice remote. It's very simple and easy to use, although it is a little small. I feel like I might lose this in my couch cushions pretty easily. The good news is, is that there is an app for that. There is an Apple TV remote app that you can use to control your TV from your phone. I do like that there's these volume buttons on the remote. It may seem like a small thing, but most of the other set-top boxes I've used don't have that. So I end up using two remotes instead of just this one. It has this touch sensitive top, which is how you control everything on the Apple TV. There's no D-pad, you always end up swiping. I find this to be a little too sensitive. I end up kind of swinging around in ways that I didn't really intend, but you know, you can do these really cool 3D lighting effects. Whoa, isn't that cool? Whoa. What actually does excite me about the Apple TV is the massive amount of content you can stream with it. You know, if you have a cable provider or a password from your parents, you can stream full episodes from all the major TV channels for free. You know, but there is a ton of really interesting, good, free content out there on the web that you could stream for years and years with the Apple TV and you'd never have to watch anything on repeat. One of the more surprising video apps was actually Facebook. I was surprised they have full episodes of their own content available to watch, as well as your friends' videos and your videos, of course. But they also have 360 videos, which you can control using the touchpad and kind of look around in virtual reality-like way. 
The Twitter app is also really cool. It lets you see a full map of the world and where all the live streams on Periscope are coming from, so you can click around and tune in. Another little thing I like is that the timeline on the bottom of a video doesn't just show you how much time has passed and how much remains. It actually shows you that in terms of the time of day, so you can see what time it is now and what time it'll be when the video finishes. So if you're feeling too much like a couch potato, you can work out with your Apple TV 4K as well. Your Apple TV 4K also supports connection to heart rate meters, so you can keep track of how you're doing in your exercise. Although video is king here, music is a huge part of the Apple TV experience. If you want to play music from your iTunes library, Apple Music, radio, podcasts, you can do that. What's nice is that no matter what music you're playing, it'll continue through the menu navigation, so it won't stop until you start to play something else. Despite Spotify being suspiciously absent from the App Store, you can always play music straight from your phone using AirPlay. You know, maybe it's not surprising that there's some shopping apps available for Apple TV as well. The old standby QVC is there if you want to tune into the live channel and buy with just one click. Also, new favorites like Zappos and Amazon are there, just in case you wanted to see what your new kicks would look like on a 4K screen. There's a few other oddballs on the Apple TV store, like Airbnb, which doesn't allow you to book anything, but you can favorite a few pictures. And Tinder, if your phone screen wasn't big enough, now you can get it in 4K on that big screen and swipe right in front of all your friends, huh? Hey, what you do with your Apple TV is your own business. As if there wasn't enough to keep you glued to your Apple TV, there's a ton of games to play as well. One I really enjoyed was Labyrinth, which uses the gyroscope in your remote to control it. Another game, Skyforce, looks absolutely stunning in 4K. Now, as we've come to expect with Apple products, the build quality, the user experience is really high. So is the price. At $199, the Apple TV 4K is like two to three times the price of the Amazon Fire TV and Roku 4K versions. I know on paper it seems like Apple products are exactly the same as their competitors, at least in spec, which is a much higher price, and some of that is brand, sure, but I think there's something to be said about the user experience that you can't see on paper. Using this is just really pleasant and it feels like a luxury device. I'll admit, if you're somebody that doesn't use Apple products, the Apple TV 4K is a hard sell. But if you're somebody that has an iPhone already and you like Apple products and you're willing to shell out a little bit more money, the Apple TV 4K is really impressive. Put this thing on the best TV in your house and it's really gonna shine. Your movies are gonna look awesome. People are gonna be impressed and you're gonna love it. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that thumbs up button to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment if you have any suggestions for us and stay tuned here at Digit for more smart home videos brought to you by yours truly.